they may have replenished. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Which, but that means that. I thought they said that the fluid already migrated yeah. away from the shot. It's You're not recording. Shot. Camel flu. All right. Yeah. Oh, okay. Uh, good morning. I'd like to call the regular scheduled meeting of the Board of Selectmen to order. It's Monday, January 5th. 2015, at that right, uh, and it is now 8.35. I'd like to uh, ask Selectman uh, McKelleny to lead us in the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you, Gary. Next item is the... Uh, Public forum limited to three minutes on any agenda item. I uh, don't see anybody wishing to address the board on any agenda item, so we'll move along to item three. Approval of minutes of December 15th regular meeting. Uh, do I have a motion? So moved. Second. Are there any uh, additions or corrections to the minutes? See none, I'll uh, call for a vote on the approval of the minutes as presented. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Okay. For approval, one abstention. Thank you. Um, next item, item four, Fire Chief Charles uh, Fershaft. I just saw him in the doorway. <laughs> 4.1, discuss and take possible action on giving the first selectman the authority to consider membership with various emergency medical dispatch slash communication agency. Uh, executive uh, session may be uh, required. Good morning, Chief. Good morning. Right, before we uh, <laughs> before we decide if we need an executive session, you might want to bring us up to date on what you and I have been working on with uh, CMET. <clears throat> well, CMET New Haven is uh, uh, having some some issues, and we need to look looking someplace else to go. So. Um, Basically, that's the long and the short of it. I can't get any shorter than that, I guess. <laughs> um, maybe you can explain to the, to the public what CMED is. CMED is, is the agency that we use to do medical patches with, with the paramedics uh, to get medical control and let the hospitals know that we're coming in with patients. Um, it's been in existence since 1976, and we have been involved with them approximately 1980, 1981. It's time to look for another place to go. Yeah. Great. Okay. What I'd like to do is um, go into an executive session later in the agenda. It's a very short agenda. If that's okay with the board, chief can hang around. Uh, if uh, nothing else occurs on his uh, his watch, uh, and we'll move on to item five. If that's okay with the board. Okay. Uh, we'll move to item five at this moment. Uh, Okay, Chief, thank you. <laughs> uh, 5.1 Energy Task Force, Mr. Volker is not available uh, due to illness, so Gary uh, McKellen, or Slecko McKellen, is going to fill in for him. Discuss and take possible action on the purchase and installation of a dual EV charging station in the rear of Town Hall parking lot in accordance with CT Deep and Bright Bless you. Thank you. Uh, uh, Idea Energy Award. Uh, Fred apologizes for not being here, but he uh, he emailed that he had the flu, and I think he made a very wise decision for all of us not to show. Yeah. <laughs> um, th this has been before us a couple of times. Um, last time we came in, there were there were two bids for the station, uh, and there was a request to put through uh, a grant, uh, a DEP grant. That has been approved for up to $10,000. This has gone back and forth with uh, engineering, and, and uh, everybody has figured out where to do it. I think the only unapproved issue in town is the Historic District Commission needs to approve the sign placement. Uh, and I, that, that's scheduled for later this month, and I trust that can be worked out. So I think what we need today is to approve uh, I, I assume there's going to be a whole bunch of stuff that the first selectman is going to have to sign to get the grants. So I would, I would ask, so I think we're going to want to authorize the first selectman to sign what's ever necessary to get the grants. 
And secondly, we have a policy that uh, items up to uh, $25,000 can be purchased with three estimates. Uh, Fred got two estimates. There's really only two legitimate pro providers of this uh, sort of equipment. Uh, and the Energy Task Force reviewed it. And the one that we've actually chosen is slightly more expensive, but it has uh, substantially better data capture capability. And the Energy Task Force felt uh, for uh, approximately $1,000 it was better to have the data trans the, the da data capture so that we knew what was going on with this equipment. <laughs> the other one had very limited, it would be there, people could use it, but we wouldn't know who was using it, how much, or why, and they, they thought uh, since this is a, a, uh, uh, a new process, that it would be very valuable to have the data transfer. So they recommended the, the, the one that was slightly more expensive. It was approximately $1,000 more expensive. So I, I, would, I guess we need to waive our normal practice of getting three estimates because there are only two, of, two options. So I, I would, and I would also say that Fred Volker <coughs> has done a tremendous amount of work chasing this thing down and, and getting approvals and bothering the engineering department and making sure that they're in line and, and so on. And, and the engineering department has been very cooperative. I, I, I'm kidding, Jim, but uh, you know, I see all the emails that go around. So uh, I, I guess I would make a motion that we authorize the first selectman to sign whatever grants are necessary. This will be paid for by the DEP grant and the Bright Idea grant and to allow purchase uh, of this equipment, knowing that, that there are only two estimates given. Second. Uh, motion's been made and seconded. Any discussion? Jim, do you want to add to that at all? No, I, I, I would uh, reiterate what uh, said. Fred has put all the time in. I, I, I read emails and that's about it. And they consult on the uh, actual installation. Uh, the Public Works Department will do the digging for the installation of the base for the station the our contribution, but all the other work, and we'll probably do the landscaping and cleaning up after, but all the other work will be done under the uh, firm that's from Madison that's doing the work. So uh, I, Fred Volk has been the one that's really been uh, championing this. So you, you've heard that presentation, so it's nice. I have nothing else to say. Okay. Any discussion on the motion on the table? I call for a vote. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Thank you, James. Thank you. Thank you, Karen. Uh, item six, uh, appointments and resignations. We have a 6.1 act on a resignation received from Peter Barrett from the Pension Committee. So, so moved. Second. Second. I will add that it's because of Peter's election to uh, judge of probate, which he assumes office uh, this Wednesday, uh, January 7th. I wish him all good luck. So. Okay. We do that, but I guess it means we shouldn't, we shouldn't elect valuable people on our commissions because <laughs> now we have to replace them. That's right. <laughs> Uh, motion was made and seconded. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Seven, uh, seven dot one, request for the use of town property. Seven one, two, uh, and seven two. I, I would make a motion that we approve the two uses by the Shoreline Chamber and the sign placements that are related to that as described in the agenda. Is there a second? Second. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay, thank you. Uh, our correspondence, I I have to bring up uh, two issues. Well, it's the same issue, but I, I re uh, there's a couple of correspondence, one uh, telephone, a couple of emails, uh, which is kind of disturbing, and I, I thought I'd bring it up in, in the, uh, this portion of the agenda. It's, uh, it's, re it's concerning trash, um, and this happened during the holiday season. Um, you know, Guilford's a beautiful town, and, and lately I'm getting, uh, like I said, a couple of calls and a couple of emails about trash being uh, either dumped or flying out of pickup trucks or small dump trucks along the road, particularly around Peddlers and, and Moose Hill Road and onto uh, uh, sort of the ramps of uh, leading up to the interstate near exit uh, 59 particularly. Uh, public, where I sent public works out on Christmas Eve and call up DOT to handle their portion 
of, uh, of our town uh, because it involved, like I said, the ramps leading on to the interstate. I don't know what's going on, if there's some sort of uh, unscrupulous uh, uh, hauler or some guy running around with a pickup truck or, a, uh, like I said, a little dump truck that's a uh, hawk going to some transfer station that does not properly cover their, uh, their open beds, but it seems to be flying out or people just being nasty and, and, and dumping uh, trash for some whatever reason, but it's got to stop. Uh, if the police catch it, you, you're going to be fine. And, and uh, if any of our residents see what is going on, please report it to the police, report it to me. Uh, I report it to Public Works, but it's got to stop. I, I don't want this to continue. It's a big eyesore. It, it takes away from the beauty of our town. Uh, and that's, that's a fair warning to everyone out there who's ever doing this. Uh, we, we'll, we'll catch up with you. So, uh, fair warning. It's, yeah, like I said, it's got to stop. So, uh, I, I thank the residents for calling me, for calling Public Works, and, 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 the, and the police department. We, we, we don't want this to continue. Okay. Anybody want to add to that? No, except Guilford Cleanup Day is going to be Saturday, May 2nd. So we we'll one of the most beautiful, clean towns. And, you know, we pride ourselves on that, Jeff. Right. So it's okay. disturbing to hear. But uh, anyway, that's, uh, that's all I want to say about that. Okay. And thank you again for the people who have uh, contacted my office. Okay. Uh, committee reports? Anybody? 376 or not? <laughs> uh, uh, the whole business, I have nothing to report uh, other than uh, uh, Carl had asked me if I'd been up to the high school. Yeah, I was up to the high school uh, last week. Just to report, uh, things are moving along real well. Uh, the committee's doing, again, a fantastic job. Uh, very soon, I'd say within about a couple of months, I shouldn't say very soon, uh, Principal Vicente will be starting to organize public tours of the facility. Uh, he'll announce that on uh, those tours uh, when he's ready to take the public through. Um, please take advantage of the tours. Right now, um, when I was up there last uh, Monday, some of the classrooms was uh, starting to be painted. Cabinetry is starting to be installed. It's moving along you know, tremendously, and it's it's on schedule. Uh, it's it's really moving uh, along, and you'll be really proud to see what uh, uh, to see this building. So, okay. 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 Any new business? Okay. Joe, well, I would just Gary, ask sorry. that uh, we get the budget schedule out as soon as possible. I mean, just, there's a number of things that I have coming up on my schedule that I'm holding off scheduling. Oh, good, good question. Yeah, um, good, good point. Okay. So, um, Trace, do you have that in front of you? But uh, the first, uh, we have two rounds of budget hearings that are going to begin on January 15th that, and 16th. That's the first <laughs> rounds of our budget hearings, 8.30 in this room. 15th and 16th. And 16th, yeah, that's Thursday. Thursday morning okay. next Thursday a week from this Thursday and Friday okay uh, 8 30 in the morning they will be taped I think Donald uh, Mike will be back by then okay yeah. oh. and uh, I'll have Tracy get the schedule out to you this okay. morning so Thursday morning and Friday morning right okay starting at 8 30 they go through noon both days probably we usually run a little over so figure till one o'clock but that'll be all. The departments will be listed on the schedule. It's the usual, and you'll uh, hopefully get the books beforehand. Okay. Uh, finances have been receiving the budgets all last week. Okay. Great. I'm glad you reminded me because that's, gonna, yeah. that's our next series of meetings. January, as you know, January and February are busy months for us. Okay. Okay. Um, public forum limited to three minutes on any item. I don't see anybody wishing to address the public. At this point, I'll take a motion to go into executive session regarding the uh, CMED issue. So, so moved. Uh, second. Okay, I'm going to invite the uh, fire chief, Charles Hershey. All those in favor? Aye. 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 And I stop. Right? You stop, and we'll come. The motion to command 
executive session if you want to say. Okay. 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 I need a motion to move the executive session. Second. Uh, all in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay. Is there a motion? No, no, no. Okay. <laughs> the motion is that we authorize the first selectman to uh, prepare whatever documents are necessary to, to withdraw from CMET. I would say to notify. To, to notify, them. notify them. Notify them of an intent to withdraw. Is, okay. that, is that what we're looking yeah. for? Okay. By, by the end of the fiscal year. By the end of the fiscal year. Okay. Do second. I have, second. Any further discussion on the motion? All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Thank you. Unanimous. Is uh, there any further business to come before the board? Move to adjourn. Second. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Thank you, everyone. Thanks, Don, for filling in. Appreciate